Hey guys, we are Mattia Genalia from Acro Connection and we will teach you the throne pose. Yes, the throne pose is one of the easiest partner acro poses. So, we will start by standing close to our base's ears, our heels at the top of his ears. Yeah. When she's uh, standing here, I need to grab her around her ankles and I bring my toes and put in on her hamstrings. Yes. I can make this easier for him if I step on my toes. In that way, I am taller and he has an easier access to my hamstrings. Yeah. From here, I sit down and I have to have his heel under my bum. And then I need to put this part, my lower back, on the ground. So I need to shift her there over my hips. And here I need to regrip so I support her feet from underneath. And then I lift her up. And I just need to sit. So I try to have this body position engaged. I try not to lean back and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And to, go, to come down, I need to start bending arms and knees at the same time. Then I regrip, I grab again over her ankles and I put her slowly on the ground. Yes. And when I have my feet on the ground, he needs to release the grip so I can make a step so he doesn't hold me and I just yeah. smash on my face. Yeah, we will do it one more time. So oh. I place my toes, Sit. I bring her over my hips, I lift her. Yes. And bases, don't worry if you cannot fully extend your knees, yeah. that's totally fine. Yeah. Just ad adjust the height of your arms so your flyer doesn't have her knees higher than her hips. Yeah, like yeah. this. We don't want this because in this position, I can easily fall yeah. back. We want to have also a bit of weight coming on our arms. Yes, I can test if he has strong arms, if I lean a little to the front and I yeah. can see if he holds me or, or if not. he yeah. goes down, okay? <laughs> okay, and to come down, again, I bend, regrip and put her down. Yes. When this regular entrance and exit feel fine, you can do a few squats in the trunk. Okay, so, so we do the entrance again and in this position I will start doing squats. I bend with elbows and knees at the same time with my arms close to my ears and knees close to my body. Try not to bend your heel towards your bum because yeah. in this way yeah, your you flyer will, will fall back. Yeah, you can see how the weight shifts back. We don't want this, so really make sure you bend your knees close the body and your shins needs to stay vertical. Yes. Come down, again down, regrip and put her on the ground. Yes. And now we will teach you how to do the weight transfers. So then we can show you another entrance to the throne pose. So we are going back to the throne pose. Yeah. And here we will do a weight transfer. This means that Matyash will be able to remove one of his feet from underneath my bum. For me, it's a feeling similar to sitting with only one buttock on a chair and pushing down with my feet. Yeah. So first we need to communicate which foot yeah. are we removing. I can squeeze her foot so yes. she knows. So I know, okay, this one is going away. I need to shift my weight to the other side and push down with my feet. Yeah, and when, when I feel this, I can slowly remove my foot from under her buttock. Yes. And this foot, this my foot, where on the side that he released his foot, presses down more. So this and this, this diagonal, have the most weight. This one is only supporting. Yeah. Then we can also try to do this on the other side. So slowly she shifts her weight and I slowly remove my uh, foot, first for just a bit and then also further away mm -hmm. and then back. I place my foot and we can go on the other side one more time. Back. And when this feels easy, you can do squats on one leg. So first we shift weight, he I removes remove. the foot. And here I can do squat. Yes. Now just with one leg. But again, I need to be careful to come with my arms close to my ears. You have to, you can go as deep as you can. You don't need to go too farther down. Yeah. Just yeah. stop. Just in the beginning, you can try just for a, to bend just for a bit and then back up. And when you feel comfortable doing this, you can go lower. Yes. 
And this is a pre-exercise for the next entrance. So now we go down. And for the, that entrance, we will start here at the legs of my back. Yes. So now I need to give her my leg. This is her support. This will be my support. So I can check if he's stable. If here I can push his leg there, it won't be good for the entrance, okay? And this is my support. My other leg goes up. 90 degrees in the hip, yeah, 90 degrees her. in the knee. I grab her uh, like before in the trom pose and I also place my feet like before. Yes, in the trom position. And now for the first tries, I will just try putting a little weight in front, pushing down with this hand and lifting my other foot from the ground. Yeah. When I feel he, uh, she's leaning on me, I also push her a bit just to feel my tension. Yes, but if you push too fast or yeah. too much, we won't be able to stand up yeah. because I cannot, sorry, yeah. I cannot bring my weight over his center. Yeah. First, she needs to come over me and then, then I and push up. up. And when this feels fine, you will, all the flyers will bring the other leg in front and bend it into the throne position. So I go up, I put it in front, I grab. he grabs my yeah. other foot and we are again in a three-point throne. Support, yeah. Yes. And then I just need to place my other foot. Yes. And to go to come down with this entrance, we can go like this, also the exit. He removes the foot, I grab the foot and I put weight on it. So my shoulder above my hand, I disconnect this leg put it back and, and I wait. And then I slowly... So he puts me down and I can step on the ground. Yeah. We can show the same thing on the other leg. So this is support, throne position. I go forward, up, bring the other leg, connect back into a four point support throne. And back. And back down. Nice. nice. And that's it for the throne pose.